or ten no, years? No, 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 baby. What about five? No. Or even two? No, baby. Get downstairs in ten minutes for your breakfast, okay? Get up. <laughs> I'll see you in ten minutes, okay? Get out, princess. I'll also be late. Princess! Princess, I'm running late. Come on. Sorry, Dad. I was looking for my textbook. It's alright. Get into the car. We're late. I'm so sorry, okay? I, I had a lot of engagement at the office. So what's my punishment? Two cups of ice cream every day for the rest of the week. Don't you think too much ice cream is detrimental to your health? Is that you trying to evade the punishment? No, 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 no. All right, so two cups of ice cream daily for the rest of the week, right? Yes. Yeah. No, actually. No, 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 not a month, a week. Can we go now? So, Princess, don't you think um, we need to hire help? A oh, help? I thought Mom never approved us. Well, Mom is dead. And at the moment, you see, picking you up from school, taking you back home, and going back to the office, you know, it's not, it's not easy. It's, it's a bit cumbersome, you know. Dad. It's been barely three months since she passed. And you're already complaining for school runs. Mom did this for years, and she, without any complaints. I'm not complaining, okay? I'm not complaining. I'm just being realistic here. See, the last time I picked you up from school, I missed out on an important appointment because I was held up in traffic. Do you understand? All I'm saying is we need someone who can at least pick you up from school, do the house chores, and yeah. You want to do it yourself, Princess? Dad, I'm still a child. Why would you say that? I know, but um, that's the more reason why we need the help. In one condition. Well, and what's that condition? I'll interview the applicants and pick the maid myself. Really? Yep. All right, dear. Okay. You fixed the date. So when you fix the date, let me know. 
Alright, I can fix the date like right now. Now? You want in the car? Yeah, I know, literally. I'm not saying like now, but I'm ready. I think I'll put up a notice tonight, though. We'll do it. Okay. What's your qualification? I have a degree in mass communication. Okay. Okay. Why do you want this job? Because with your certificates, you should be working in the media or advertising firm. Ma, because I love house chores. Okay. Mm. You're in class. <sighs> okay. We'll get back to you. Call the next person. What, Dad? If she failed a course as simple as mass communication, she can't undo anything intellectual in this house. Princess, mass communication is not as simple as you think it is. What do you mean, Dad? If Auntie Mimi could graduate with second class lower in mass communication, that means mass communication could, is the simplest course in the university. <laughs> It's, it's not that simple. Oh. I don't know what to say. I'll just wait for the next person. Next! Good day, ma. Who told you to sit? Sorry, ma. I'm not ma. I'm only 12, so don't call me ma. So, have you worked as a maid before? Yes, ma. Yes. How long and why did you quit? I worked just for four months and I didn't quit. I was sacked. And why were you? My madam said I was having an affair with the husband, which I believe there won't be such report here. And how sure are you? Because he's a widower, so no wifey troubles. You are sucked even before the interview finished. What? Excuse me. Bye bye. Do you care for some water? Nope. She is a Delilah. And we don't have a Samson in this house. Okay. I'm just waiting for the next person. Next! Young man. Young man, how may we help you? Samia for the interview. What interview? Didn't you see the road female house help needed? His agenda is a thing of the mind. Let's begin. Begin what? Begin. He said no, 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 hold on. Begin what? Dad, what's wrong? What do you mean what's wrong? Young man, get out. Leave, leave, leave this place. Must I know this job? Look, I don't want to know what you know, what you don't know, what degree you have. Just leave. Leave. Be gone. Go, go, go. go. No be me go leave my daughter for house with this year, young man. Dad. Hmm? That's the last person who would have hired him. No, he's a male. You fired the lady. She's leaving here. Out. You fired the person I'm in charge of. I know, but that's a meal. So? No, that's not working. I'm your dad. Okay? And I'm your daughter. Yeah, so no male will come in here and do any house chores. That's wrong. Or do you want to do it? No. Good day, sir. Good day, Angel. Hmm. I'm here for the job interview. Okay, you're hired. So, let's discuss the salary and job demands. Princess, no interview yet. No interview? I just said, no interview! Yeah, you have a seat. Thank you. Thank you, sir. 
What? Nothing. Hey, baby girl. Good morning, Daddy. Aren't you late for school? It's me time break. Oh, I forgot, I forgot. Then I have to get going. Daddy needs to Wait. go to work. How about until good? She'll show up later in the day, I'm sure. Okay, take care. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Affairs at work, you're late. I'm so sorry, sir. I had to pack my things and arrange my house before coming, since I won't be leaving till the weekend. That's cool. Princess will show it your room. All right, sir. Thank you, sir. You're Have a good day, Princess. Bye. Good morning, Atiogi. Good morning, Princess. You already made breakfast. No, I didn't. I just made a little tea to hold my tummy while you make breakfast. All right, that's fine. Why don't you come show me to my room then? I'll make breakfast for you. while I came here. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Coming to meet her absence is the only reason I've been away. That's okay. It makes the house look empty, but uh, it's okay. But at least you have princess. Yeah, if she's not disturbing. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hey, princess. How are you? Come. Good evening, sir. Good evening, my daughter. I'm fine. I'm just seeing some good evening. How are you? Come here. How have you been, my darling? I'm High school. Fine. I'm fine. Um, you decided to come by today. Yeah, I decided to come <laughs> see you and daddy. Good evening, sir. Hi. Good evening, okay. Um, how are you finding the job? It's easy, sir. Really? I hope Princess here has not been troubling you. She's actually the reason I'm finding it easy. Oh, that's good. You have a maid now? Yes. And you won't have approved? Yes, but Mom is not alive and I make the decisions in this house. Oh, I see. You hear the woman of the house. <laughs> it's a um, dinner ready. Yes, sir. Uh, I'll quickly set the table. Okay, good, good. So I'm going to go in fresh and out. Then, you know, I join you guys. You're having dinner with us today. Sure. Okay, good. So you two catch up. I'll see you in a bit. Baby says, come over here. Don't you miss me? I'll sit here. Okay. So tell me. Tell me about school. Tell me about everything. What have I been missing? Well, I... <laughs> oh, this was so nice. Thank you for the meal. Thank you too. Go we'll get made. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. I think she has finally blended in the family. Yeah, Princess actually chose her personally. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. Um, it was nice having you around. Yeah, thank you. Um, now that I'm back, I will always drop by more often. That's if it's okay by you. That shouldn't be a problem. That's all right. Okay. See you tomorrow then. I right, see you around. Baby. Good night. Bye. 
Take care. Why does she suddenly want to become here often? I don't know. Maybe she likes you. She doesn't. You sure? Can't you tell? No. I, I didn't see any sign like that. Look at the way she was looking at me. Really? How was she looking at you? With an angry face. Hmm. I, I didn't get that. But for all you know, she likes you and she wants to be your friend. Hmm? She wants to be your best friend. <laughs> Come on, princess. She doesn't. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see how it goes. You don't have to be uptight, okay? She was just trying to be friendly. Okay. Until then, I need your help. What's that? There is an imposter we need to flush. An imposter? Yes. It's just yourself, your daddy, and myself that are living in this house. You and your daddy are obviously not the imposter, so... It's not you either. I implored you myself, remember? So who then is it? Aunt Jacinta? You see, this is why I hired you. I know you you are more intelligent than you look. All right. So what do we do? You're welcome. Um, where is Princess? She's in her room. Okay. Get me a glass of juice. Okay, ma. Hey, princess. Come here. I'm fine. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, I'm my sweet. love. How have you been holding up? Um, good. Um, nice seeing you around today. Thank you. I came to see you. Yes, can you remember that jello fries you made for me on my seventh birthday? The one your mom and I made? Yeah. Oh, sure. Of course, I remember. How can I forget? I'm just surprised that you remember. Um, Ma, should I pour it for you? No, no, no. It's okay. Can go. Okay, Ma. So I'm just surprised you remember. Why won't I? Me and Daddy always talk about it a lot. Wow. Daddy? So does it mean he liked it? He loves it more than I do. So uh, will you make it for us? Sure, baby, sure. <laughs> you know, anything for your daddy and for you too. So off we go to the kitchen. First to get to the kitchen. <laughs> oh my God. Is you okay? Yes. We went to looking for you in the kitchen, your room. You weren't there. Is there a problem? Hope we have all the ingredients for Jello fries. Yes, we do. Okay. Just give her everything she asks for. All right. Let's go. Okay, Dad. Auntie Jacinta! Auntie Jacinta! Yes, Daddy? My dad wants to talk to you. Oh, your father. Hey. Hey there. Yeah, I was just here. Of course, <laughs> Princess and I are just making our favorite jello fries. Okay. She's good, she's well. <sighs> oh, you on your way? Oh, that's fine, that's fine. I'll just hurry up and finish up. 
All right. So your dad is on his way. So I'll just have to go to the kitchen. When you miss me, you can always join me, okay? This food? Of course I did. My special jello fries. <laughs> nice. Thank you. <clears throat> so, what's that? I do have a feeling you messed up the food. Dad! Jake? Are you okay? I'm fine, I'm fine. I'm sorry. It's alright. I don't know what happened. It's alright. I guess I have to leave now. I'll see you some other time, okay? Okay. Yeah, hello? Hello, Jacinta. Hey, how was work today? Work was fine. How are you doing? I'm good. I wanted to apologize for... Oh, that's fine. That's, that's fine. That's okay. Okay, so I can come over and make amends, right? Oh, that would not be necessary. Oge made um, a very palatable food for us to eat. Okay. Um, how about tomorrow evening? Um, tomorrow evening, I'll be taking... Um, Princess to go see a movie. All right, then. I'll wait for you to call me some other time. Yeah, sure, some other time. Have a good night, Jacinta. Good night. Bye. Daddy. Yes, sweetheart. Are we really going to see a movie? Um, well... Never mind. I knew you were lying so that she won't come over. Oh, Princess. Wait, how old are you again? Twelve. Twelve? You're too smart for your age. I'll take that as a compliment. Hmm. Okay. I'm being schooled here. Hey, Anita. Oh, good afternoon. Good afternoon. It's been a while. Yes, long time. What are you doing here? Uh, it's a long story. I I came to see my fiance and then something went wrong. Okay, you need help because I'm going that way. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Sure, you can help me now. Put your bag at the back. Wow, it's been years. Anita. So much. Oh, hop in. We've been dating online for a year now, and we both agreed that I come see him tomorrow. And I was done with what I was doing in Abuja, you know, so I decided to come this morning. And you've 
couldn't believe that I met him pants down with another woman. Oh, shoot. That's, that's terrible. I'm so sorry. You can say that again. I mean, to think that we're cool. We're even planning marriage. Wait, wait, wait. How do you plan marriage with someone you haven't met? How does that work? This guy, this guy was so genial. I mean, we do video calls, we talk like the whole day, we... He was showing me so much love. Ah, oh, come on, Anita. Jenny, indeed. Guys are always like that. Oh, look, I'm, I'm so sorry. So what are you going to do now? Um, I'll just check into a hotel and stay for a few days. Um, then just go back to Abuja. I don't want to go, I mean, feeling this way. I don't want my start to make more clear of me. So. Ah, come on. Um, okay, I, you can come stay at my place. Are you sure? Yeah, that shouldn't be a problem. I, I, I stay with my daughter and uh, help. The help. I don't want to inconvenience you. No, that's, that's okay. That's okay. Come on. I mean, that's the least I can do to a brother, sister. Talking about brother, sister. How's uh, Chidi? How's he doing? It's been a while. Oh, Chidi is fine. <laughs> yeah, Chidi is fine. He's married now. Oh. Mm -hmm. He married a Chinese lady. Oh, I always knew that guy was going to marry a white lady. <laughs> <laughs> I always knew that. How long has it been now like, since you left for China? Yeah, like four years now. Wow, ah, four years. Mm. Wow. Good to know, good to yeah. know. Thank you so much. You're welcome. All right, now, so let's go back to number two. So... You have two times two mm -hmm. by five. So two times five. Count it, count it out. Two times five. One, two, 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 one, one, two, 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 Okay. Yes, sir. Show Anita her room upstairs. Sure, sir. Let me help you. Thank you. Dad. Yes, baby. Yes, what baby. is she doing here? Okay, so she's a friend's sister, okay? She's stranded. So I offered to give her a place to stay. Dad, we talk consulting me. I am the owner of this house. Yes, ma'am. I'm so sorry. This will never happen again, okay? I'm sorry. <laughs> it's not funny. I wasn't laughing. I see your aunt, okay? Madame of the house. <laughs> it wasn't funny. No, it's... It's not meant. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, ma'am. work today. Work was fine. How are you doing? Mm, better than yesterday. Nice. Honestly, I want to say thank you for allowing me to stay here. You're welcome. Anytime. And your cook, she's so good. Oh, wow. Yeah, she's so good. She made me a delicious meal today. Great, hey, you enjoyed the meal? Yeah, I did. So, how was work really? Yeah, work was fantastic. Oh. Work was good. We're trying our best. Okay. She just complimented my cooking. I don't like the way she's looking at him.
and how is she looking at him? The way mommy used to. Princess. Yes. What's the problem? Why was she looking at you like that? Looking at me like how? The way mommy used to. I didn't notice. That's because you hardly noticed anything, Dad. You know I'm not as smart as your mom. I don't like her. Do you not like anybody? I want her to leave. Really? Okay. So she'll leave very soon. How soon? Very soon, princess. She'll leave, okay? Don't get uptight. I told you there's this company and I submitted proposal to, so they told me to come this afternoon. Oh wow, that's, that's good news. Yes, I just want to let you know in case I come late. No problem, do your thing. Right. Perfect. Have a nice day. Bye. Good today. Good afternoon. Okay, please make me a fruit juice. Eh? Okay, I will. I don't like her. That's obvious. I think she has an ulterior motive towards my dad. Princess, what makes you think everybody is interested in your daddy? Not everybody, just Auntie Anita. I know what she told Daddy about the proposal earlier today was a lie. Princess. Yes. Well, your daddy is an adult and he should be able to handle his affairs. Talking to you has been fruitless. Hey, this girl. Hey. appointment this afternoon. Oh, yes, my darling, I did. But it was rescheduled for next week, Monday. That means you'll be staying till next week, Monday? Yes, princess. Your dad has been so generous, so... He has? Yes. <laughs> he didn't tell you that I'm in charge of this house. Oh. Okay. Don't worry, I'm going to... Talk to him when he returns. About what? About the duration you're staying in this house. Hmm. 
Your brother was the craziest of us all. I mean, he could uh, literally walk up to a lady and he'd go like, um, I don't want to date you. I just want to have fun. You know, some of the things your brother did were crazy. I mean, it took me a while to get over them. Oh, my God. Such a crazy guy. But you know you were not like that. You were different. You know, you're always gentle and calm. Yes. You know, I, I, I always remember my mom making reference to you anytime she school dead cheating. Right. We're just two human beings cohabiting, that's all. Well, you've not changed one bit. Really? Yeah. Even after so many years. Well, there's a lot that can change in a man in a minute. Mm. You, on the other hand, you are very shy and smallish. <laughs> okay, smallish, yes, but shy, no. I was never shy. Okay, maybe I was shy anytime you're around. Oh, really? And that's because, you know, uh, I I feel a certain way anytime you're around. And I I felt the same way the other day I saw you. No wonder you were always going to hide whenever I came home. <laughs> You had feelings for me. Is that what it was? I... Dad, I was trying to ask you if you saw my red nightwear. How am I supposed to know where your red nightwear is? Um, I just asked if you saw it. I haven't seen it. Okay. Come, let us go look for it. Um, um... I'm really sorry, I'll be back, yeah. Okay. Princess, it's been a wonderful conversation. It's haunted. We should just keep this Expecting love, did it rise? Yeah, two hearts colliding like stars in the night, catching everybody by surprise. No telling where the story begins, but faith found a way. Anyway, I I felt there were no points. I mean, who's saying all that on chat when I'm just a few meters away from you? So I Princess! Princess! Why aren't you asleep? Daddy, are you okay? Yes, I'm okay. Are you sure? Yes. What's wrong? I had a very terrible nightmare. Oh. It's just a dream, you know, a dream, sir. Yeah, mm -mm. it's just a dream. No, let me tell you about it. Okay. You were surrounded by a bunch of women with weapons. Really? Yes. And that's not all, though. You had another one? Yes. Can you believe I saw a woman chasing me with a matchet? Ah, go for it. Mm. Mm. Baby, it's just a dream. It's just it a terrible a night, dream. Man, okay? Go to bed now, princess. No, I can't sleep in my room. I'm scared. Then go, go and sleep with Auntie Oge. No. I want to sleep here, Daddy. Okay. Is daddy and daughter time? Yeah, it's okay. Good night, princess. Good night. <sighs> mm. Princess, why are you suddenly happy? Because I want to be happy. A 
everything is going on fine. Except for that disrespectful daughter of his. Oh, she's always popping up at the wrong time, at the wrong place. Yes. Oh, come on, my, don't do that. I can't be asking. I can't ask him of money now. It will be suspicious. Listen, in one or two days, we're going to be so into each other. Yes. Listen, with the way it's going, we're going to make more than that five million naira you're looking at. I'm going to fix things. Calm down. Oh, I miss you too, my darling. I love you, baby. I love you too. All right. No, I'll fix everything. Don't worry. You don't have a problem. Okay. All right, bye. Yes. So this chick thing wants to steal from my dad? Yes. I'm going right away to tell my dad. Come back. What? Not yet. What do you mean not yet? You just told me everything. I know I told you, but if we go and confront her, it will be our word against hers. And guess who is going to believe? We will believe her. Why would my dad believe a stranger over his mm -hmm. own daughter? Yes, because your daddy is already in love with her. Never. Do you trust me? A little. Well, that would suffice. You know what will happen? You have to give me a day or two and I'll get a concrete evidence of her, okay? Before we confront her. I only have a day to give to you. And if nothing comes up, I'm going to tell him straight ahead. All right. It's fine. Okay. This charade. I can't sit and watch that gold digger dig her way into my father's pocket. Princess, I told you to give me a day. This is a day. No, it's not. I still have over two hours. Okay? I have no two hours to give to you. Calling me at this time of the day. I told you it's always around during the weekend. Yes. Don't call me by this time. Patience, they say, is a virtue. You need to learn that. I will make sure I sleep with him tonight. Yes. Then tomorrow morning I will ask him for the 500,000. And then I will put that little brat in her place in this house. I won't let my daddy have anything to do with any other woman in this house. Now, we will see who puts who in their place. Mm. Are you going to marry your daddy? No, I won't. Finish your phone. I'm going to show my daddy right away. So 
So you want to put me in my place, right? In my own house. Hey, princess, why are you talking to auntie like that? My love, what is it? I am not and I will never be. Princess! I will make sure I sleep with him tonight. Yes. Then tomorrow morning, I will ask him for the 500,000. And then I will put that little brat in her place in this house. My regards to Mark. Go! Thank you, okay. Thank you. Princess. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Why is Princess not sleeping by this time? Because I want to talk to you. Really? Yes. Okay then. What is the problem? Why are you so quick to let this woman in your life? I've not allowed any woman into my life. Daddy! Oh, Anita. Yes. That is because Anita is someone I've always admired, even way before I met your mom. You know, it's not been easy for Daddy. The past four months since we lost mommy, I've been staying here all by myself alone. It's it's been very difficult. I know that, but I think, I think you should be careful with the type of woman you open up to. Imagine what would have happened if Auntie Oge didn't uncover Anita's plan. I know, I know, Princess. That is why I have my little princess to protect me, right? Look, we'll be fine, okay? Yes, Daddy, but don't bring another woman into this house. Really? Yes. Okay, I won't. Deal. Deal. Now, it's time for the princess to retire. Good night, princess. So much. Look at I you. I used to do. <laughs> yeah. What are you doing here? Oh, really? <laughs> actually, I came here to spend a little time with you guys, okay? We are actually here on a project. So instead of us wasting money in the hotel, I prefer to come stay here. You know, my brother's house, my niece's place. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> yeah, actually, she's my best friend and um, colleague, Zara. Zara, meet my me, it's my brother's daughter. Yeah, princess. Hello. Hi. <laughs> yeah, so um, I'll go upstairs, okay? Drop my bags and come downstairs again so I will have a lot of gist with it, okay? Okay, I'll, I'll be right back, okay? Just hold on for me. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> Not again. James, I already told you, you have to manage the money I sent you last month, okay? The next time I'm expecting money is by month end. For now, I don't have a dime to send to you. Oh, God. This girl. 
the way you used to appear where someone is, it scares me sometimes. Was that your brother? Yes, it was. He's in school? Mm-hmm. Why doesn't he come here? Because this is my workplace and not his house. Okay, we have another problem. What problem? Another woman is in the house. Oh. Well, young lady, that is your problem, and not mine. Mm -hmm. I warned you about that guy, but you wouldn't listen. I told you that guy was not genuine, he was no good. But he seemed genuine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, never acted otherwise. I'm your big brother. Mm -hmm. I'm a man. I can easily identify fake guys. I mean, you know how it is. That's true. You're mm -hmm. right. I'm over him now. No, I mean it. I'm over him totally. Really? Yes, trust me. That's good news then. But that's by the way. Guess what? I don't like guessing. I met this guy <laughs> a few days ago. You like him. Come there on. There go again. What? Mimi, why can't you just take a break? Hmm? Take a break from my gender. Focus on yourself and your career. So when I finally settle in my career, mm -hmm. I'll then start looking for a man that would date me for another three years before even planning to marry me. <laughs> I don't have such time, bro. I don't think I have. Trust me. Why are you going to marry me? Never. Mm, never. Princess, okay. I'm your favorite auntie. No, 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 no. That's an incest. It's not possible. Please. <laughs> Anyways, it's good to have you guys around. Yeah, sure. I've missed you, bro. Like... Miss you too. <laughs> you. So you usually talk about your brother, but you never told me that he's hot. Oh, really? <coughs> <laughs> oh, well. Because it wasn't your business, okay? And moreover, he was married. Oh, well, he's not single, and I want to make it my business. So what about Jide? Let me come on now. You know I'm over Jide. But he was at your place before we left. Well, he actually came to apologize, but I made it known to him that there is nothing on this earth that will make both of us come back together. I mean, we caught this guy pants down with our friend. Come on now, it's not possible. So Jide is just out of it. So what do you want with my brother? A fling? Am I not too old for a fling? I want him for gifts. Really? Yes. Kill. He seems like a gentleman that really knows how to treat his woman right. So, yeah. Before Uncle, my brother is charming, even more. I so know. I wouldn't blame you if you want something like that. I did not tell you. Uh, You're yes. not a good person. Uh -uh. <laughs> Just chill. That's not a problem. So okay. I... So, do you really, really want my brother? Of course. Are you going to help me? Uh, I'll help you. Okay. But on one condition. Really? It's not free. Really? Mm-hmm. Really? Mm-hmm. Which is? See, you're going to give me 50,000 naira the first six months you date my brother. Uh, uh, I mean it. And that's the uh, only 50k. <laughs> 50k. Just for your finger. Really? Uh, really? Uh, it's so cheap. You be slay queen now. Come on. Slay queen. Slay queen is uh, giving me your brother for 950k. Ah, oh, for you. I said, if I can just give me something. Are you giving me or not? Babe. Eh? Yeah? Oh, okay. No problem. <laughs> my brother is shaman. I got his own brush now. My brother now. Slay queen. <laughs> Good morning, sir. Good morning, Mr. Jake. How was your night? I was fine, thank you. Good. Hello, princess.
And to me, good afternoon. Oh, princess, how are you? I'm fine. Okay. And to me, when are you leaving? Why do you ask? Not to know. I just wanted to know because you know you never stayed beyond one or two days when my mom was alive. You're right, my love. But this time around, I'll be staying longer. Okay? Because um, we are here on an assignment for my company. Wait. You mean Auntie Zara will be staying with you? Of course, certainly. She's my best friend. Of course. <laughs> Come on, watch the movie with me, okay? It's very okay. interesting. She was trouble. And I told you that that is your problem. What has she done this time? She wore a very skimpy cloth this morning. Of all the whole house, she chose to stand next to my daddy's car for workouts. People don't wear butter for workout, do they? Don't patronize me, Aunt Yogi. I know what she wore was to seduce my daddy. Mm. Well, in that case, you should be talking to your daddy, okay? He should learn how to respect himself. He can't just jump at any woman that opens her laps and throws herself at him. Auntie Oge, you're becoming so annoying. Thank you. It's Vendor Online. It's so nice. Hi, Oge. Why are you up to? Um, I want to go wash others' clothes. Um, that won't be necessary because I'll be helping you and have it. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much, ma. So why is the washing machine? The washing machine is faulty. Olga called the mechanic and he said it will be here next week. For now, you have to use your hands. <laughs> On a second thought, you have it. You wash this time and I'll do the next one. I have some documents to sort. <laughs> All right, no problem. You're showing me something. Uh, sure. <laughs> Are you okay? Mm -hmm. Sir, I'm ready to leave. Oh, okay. When are you coming back? That will be on Monday, sir. I am so sorry about tomorrow. Um, Shola is my good friend, and it would be so wrong of me to miss the opening of his bed shop. It's okay, don't worry. Just take care, okay? I will. Princess. Take care of yourself, okay? Dad? Yeah? I think I feel a little feverish. Sure, come. So you want to go inside and rest? Nope, I want to finish this episode. You can always come back and watch it. I want to finish it. You're not feeling feverish anymore, are you? <laughs> I am. So then let's go and rest. No, it's my choice. Okay, let's watch that. What's your favorite character in there? The boy. Oh, my favorite character is the old woman. What's her name? Yours. What? Yours? Yes. I didn't say old woman. No, that old woman. It's That's your. My, yeah, you like the little boy. Baby. Princess. No school today. There is. Oh, the fever from yesterday. Yes, I'm not feeling too well. Oh, sorry, sorry. Um, I'm gonna call Dr. Uma to come take care of you, okay? Okay? 
to be fine. Let him see. She's really down. I don't know. And I have to go to work. Uh, would you be able to take care of her for me? You know, my doctor friend promised to come see her after work. Oh. I've called him. You see, I also have an important appointment in town this morning. Yeah, yeah, the one you told me about. Well, it's okay. It's fine. What about the maid? She went for the weekend. She won't be back until Monday. Oh, oh Zara. Yeah, how are you? Hi, what's up? Hi, Jake. Are you going anywhere today? Yeah, why? Um, my niece isn't feeling too well and the maid is not around. I was wondering if you could help me watch over her. Oh, of course, sure, with pleasure. Where is she? Um, she's in her room. Oh, yes. Off I go then. Oh, thank you very much. Thank I you, Zara. Everything for you. you. That makes it easy then. Yeah. I'll see you. Oh, yeah. You drive well, okay? Oh. Yes, what do you want? I need to use the toilet. You are close to it now. I can't stand up. My legs are weak. I am feeling sick and weak too. Auntie Zara! Auntie Zara! Okay. Please, I need you. Princess. Oh my god. Oh my god, when did this happen? In the toilet. I need the toilet. <sighs> okay, toilet. Come here. Have you had something to eat? I tried a little rice I ate. Alright, so go and lie down. I'll make you something, okay? I'll see you soon, okay? You pepper soup. Hmm? 
face too much. But the paper would make you not to throw up, okay? Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Do you like it? Zora, how are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. Good. Um, how's Princess? She's fine, she's in the room. Okay. Right. Hope you're good. Yes, I'm good. Good afternoon, sir. I thought you were supposed to attend the program. Yes. What are you doing here? Princess called me, so I had to rush down here. Princess called you? But I left her with Zara. Sir, you need to put your voice down. You took me a while to get her to sleep. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you. Um, should I make you something to eat? No, no, no. I had something at the office. I'm good. Thank you once again. That's what you pay me for. I'm still grateful, but um, and I understand why she chose you. I see. You. Zara, what was it? See, if you know you weren't going to take care of my niece, you should have just said so. Um, who said I didn't? You did not. You practically ignored her when she needed you. I don't understand. Was I supposed to carry her to the toilet, then stand and watch her poo? This wasn't part of the job you described to me, was it? Well, Zara, living in this house and taking care of the firm's business is not also part of my responsibility as a sister in this house either. Do you get me? So first thing tomorrow morning, we leave to the hotel. Come on now, Mimi, it has not gotten to that now. Oh, really? Yes, relax, because... Remember, we've used the money the firm gave us for hotel bills to buy stuff. You should have thought about that. But you didn't. So like I said, we'll leave. Because I don't understand why you have to just ignore the only child to the owner of this house and be doing whatever it is that you were doing. For Christ's sake, she's still a child. So we'll leave tomorrow. I don't even know where you went to. What was I supposed to do? She stood outside and ignored me when I asked her to help me to the toilet. That was why I called Aunt Yogi. Oh, it's okay. I'm sorry, baby. Okay? Daddy's here now. How you feeling? Um, better. Good. Aunt Yogi made me the magic pepper soup again and I ate all of it. Wow, that's good. I mean, she's okay. For you yes. to eat all of it, you're okay. Good girl. That's quite thoughtful of her. Yes, and Dad, yeah. you said that it is my duty to protect you, right? Yes, it is. Okay, and I don't want you to have anything with Auntie, Auntie Zara. Why? Is it because of what happened? More, more than that, it is... She can't replace mom. Of course, no one can replace mom. No one. Yes, it, no one can replace mom, but there is a close one. And who is that? You get to know. What are you up to? Nothing. <laughs> and turns on 
wanna speak in love Did it rise? Yeah Two hearts colliding like stars in the night Catching everybody by surprise No telling where the story begins Or how it came to be But faith found a way It was waiting, waiting, love was waiting for them A story for all to see You are the smartest one in our family. Smarter than your father and I put together. I'm leaving my husband in your care. Please look after him. He can be gullible more times. I stand fame for him. Please. Don't deny him the joy of having another woman by him side. Just make, just help him make the better choice. Because I know you will. So you're my princess. Just take good care of him for me. love you and you always be my princess you will forever be my princess because that's what you are I love you princess <laughs> Make sure you always make him happy and always be the good guy I have taught you to be. Are you alright? Do you want me to get you anything? Do you love my daddy? What? I said, do you like my daddy? Princess. Well, your, your daddy is a fine and respectable man. So, every woman would like him. You still haven't answered my question. Do you like my daddy? Yes, I, I do. Okay. Princess. Okay. Yes. Daddy. Mm -hmm. Mommy made me promise her that I will look out for you and your happiness. What you're doing? She wanted us to keep her memories forever and still move on. I have seen women come in and out 
of your life, but none are worthy. A whole person who is worthy is right in our faces, but none of us notice. And who is this girl? Auntie Oge. She's the only one that has what it takes to fill the void mommy left in our lives. I know Auntie Oge isn't classic as mommy was, but she has her own ways. Princess, you really like this woman? Yes, I liked her from the moment I saw her at the interview. It just never occurred to me until recently. Daddy, please marry Auntie Oge. I know you may not like her now, but with time, she'll be the love of your life. Princess, you're so special to me, okay? I don't want to share you with anyone. In that case, I don't mind sharing you with her. Is this what you truly want, Princess? Is this what you want for Daddy? Where are you going? to mourn me forever. <laughs> I want you to mourn me <laughs> for a period of time. To move on. <laughs> I want you to be happy. <laughs> I want you to smile again. So it might be difficult for you to for you to get the right woman. <laughs> oh, please be happy for me. <laughs> I know it shouldn't be difficult for princess. But when she does, please listen to her. <laughs> please. Please, I want you to listen to her because I want you to be happy. I want you to smile again. I want to see that beautiful smile wherever I am in your face. <laughs> That's all I ask for you. I don't want to see this face wherever I am, please. Even in death, you are still right. She has been with us all along. But I couldn't identify her. Princess did just as she presumed.
Okay, I I know it's not been a long time since we met, and uh, you probably don't know much about me. Neither do I know much about you. But I was, I was hoping <sighs> we could. Uh, Please marry my dad. <laughs> what dad? You are beginning to sound off, and my knees are hurting. I'm so sorry. Will you be my wife? And my mommy. Yes.